I know you're gonna let me help you. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll tell you, Dee. <clears throat> I thought about your offer very carefully and, uh, well, in the light of my other options, I just... What options? You have other options? Somebody else wants to keep you from going bankrupt? Well, somebody might. Nick Zabo, for example. Johnny, he's a crook. Well, well, he's always played it square with me. But it'd be very messy for Frank if it got out that the father of a senator was borrowing money from somebody with questionable connections. Yeah, you can't do that, Johnny. Well, I can. But I don't choose to. Then I'm your only real choice. No, Dee, you're not. I considered asking Ray Woodard. She's worse than Nick. No, Dee. Thought of borrowing money from Ray Woodard didn't appeal to me. Well, I hope you didn't tell her anything. Because, you know, if she knows something, Frank knows it. You can bet on that. I haven't told anybody about my financial... And then Frank would tell the family and you'd really be humiliated. Dee, I have not said a word to Ray Woodard. Well, that's good. Well, listen, why you go through all this rigmarole when there's somebody who's already family who's ready to help you out with a loan and a promise of complete discretion? Please, say yes. Look, dear, if I do, it's going to be a complete business deal, right? Oh, absolutely. You're the borrower, I'm the bank. Uh, the same terms we agreed on, we talked about before, right? Well, we didn't actually agree. I mean, I mentioned some terms and offered you the 83000 but you just were pacing back and forth. Yeah, well, Dee, you'll have to forgive me, but the idea of losing my bar isn't very appealing to me. Well, don't think about it as losing. Think of it as sharing it. Yeah. All right, now, Dee, I'm, uh, I'm prepared to repay you $1,000 a month plus 20% of the profits. That's what you wanted, right? That's it. You're upset. <laughs> no, Dee. I wish I could afford that luxury. Listen, Johnny, don't worry. We're going to work together beautifully. Now, look, you promise never to tell Maeve. Oh, cross my heart, not a word. Shake? Yeah. <laughs> attorney draw up a little agreement this morning just in case your attorney yeah my lawyer she won't say anything to Maeve she's very trustworthy huh. does she think you're making the right decision oh I didn't ask her I want to use my money to help the people I love most in the world and that's my decision not hers I don't know how to thank you Dee oh Johnny you don't have to thank me just doing this makes me feel wonderful Listen, you and Maeve have done more for me than any amount of money can pay ever. Yeah, I know, but 83,000 bucks, Dee, you, you must be cashing in all your investments. Well, I'm juggling a little. Well, you're taking losses to come up with this much cash. Hey, now that's for me to worry about, isn't it? Not you, and I'm not worried a bit. Except about one thing. What? You're still in Coco, and what if it goes down more before you have a chance to settle with Mr. Grimley? Look, Dee, what can I do? I'll... I'll... I'll give Grimley his money as soon as I got it in my hand, which will be... Tomorrow morning. As soon as you can okay this with your attorney. I think all we have to do is sign it. All right, I'll, I'll show it to my man as soon as I can. God willing, I'll be out of commodities by tomorrow. Hey, Johnny. Isn't it crazy? I mean, who would think poor Delia would step in and save the Ryans? <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's our secret, and I swear I won't tell anybody, but someday... Tell Maeve, will you? And tell her this is really why my money made me so happy. Sure, Dee, I'll tell her. Someday. I'll see you. 
Call me right away after you speak to your attorney, okay? Yeah, first thing after I see him. Goodbye. Good night. Listen, can I see you tonight? I've suddenly had a fascinating idea. Well, can't you uh, give it to me over the phone? Sure, I could, but I don't want to. I see. Well, could you come over here? I certainly can. See you later. Did little Miss Commodities change her mind? No. And it's done. It is done. If I read this correctly, D is now 100% owner of Ryan's Bar. Hey, check it out. You're my lawyer. What? Read it, man. Shh. Babe's in the kitchen and Jillian's with her. What lawyer? Well, I guess I should go in and say hello. Well, not with that face. Oh, wonderful. They'll know something's up the minute they see you. Maeve. Yes, dear. This is not an ordinary visit. No, it certainly is not. I can't tell you how delighted I am to have you sitting in that chair again. I... I came to return something. Turn precious gifts, sir. I never truly welcome back. Oh, dear, don't say that. Don't even think it. But I feel like I, I can't keep that anymore. But I want you to, Jill. I can't tell you how strongly I feel about that. No. You gave it to me for Edmund because it was his birthright, and I love that. But now I feel like I have to return it. But, dear, there'll be another child someday. Seneca's child. And it will be a bolac. <laughs> anyway, Grandfather Cleary's button should go to your grandchildren. Oh, it breaks my heart to take it away from you. You're not taking it. I'm returning it. I feel that I have to get used to the fact that Edmund is gone. And that Frank is going to marry Ray. The connection between us, it, it's just changed. Oh, darling, the connection between you and the Ryans is based on love. It's never going to change or be broken. You are so good to me. <laughs> I love you and Johnny and the whole family. But that belongs to your grandchildren. Please, oh. take it. Jillian, when I gave it to you. I know. But life is, uh, it's filled with a lot of surprises. I can't convince you, then. No, absolutely not. Jillian! Ah, Johnny! It's been such a long time. Good to see you, darling. <laughs> hey, what a weak little hug. Oh, I don't want to crush in my arm like a no, peanut. No. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> oh, John, don't you dare. Well, oh. I have a few questions for this little girl. Unless she's already told you everything we want to know. No, no, no more about me. I want to hear about everybody else. All right. Who? Siobhan, Mary? Yes, Patrick. Patrick. Is something wrong? No, no, he's fine. We're just a bit concerned That's about it. Patrick. Patrick has uh, created a situation of sorts. What sort of situation? Dave? No. Nancy! <laughs> Nancy! Oh, hello. hello, Mama. What are you doing here? Well, that's the way you feel about oh, it. Oh, now, stop that. Come back here. Let me look at you. Oh. 
You've lost weight. Mama, no. You look wonderful. All right. What's wrong? Why should anything be wrong? Because ever since you were a little girl, whenever anything went wrong that you didn't want me to know about, you'd say, why should anything be wrong? Mama, that doesn't make sense. Besides, I'm not a little girl anymore. I know. But ever since your father came back from visiting you in Washington a few weeks ago, something's been bothering him. He tells me it's nothing, but then he keeps asking me if I heard from you. So I just thought, come, come sit down. Tell me all about Washington. Oh, it's wonderful. Exhausting, but wonderful. You're not working too hard. Yes, but I love it. Oh. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I, I, I would have fixed something special for you. Oh, well, I didn't know myself until a few hours ago. I finally got things straightened up at work and decided it was about time. Mm, about time is right. It's so good to see you, darling. You too. Mama, there's something I want to talk to you about. Oh? You were right. There is something going on. Daddy found out about it when he came to visit me, but, but I asked him if I could tell you myself in person. It sounds serious. Yeah. I've met somebody that I care for very much. He's a wonderful person. And we've come to mean a great deal to each other. You don't sound too happy about it. Oh, I am. I'm happier than I've been in a long time. What's his name? Mama, he's not Jewish. It's Pat Ryan. Pat? Yes. Father never said a word. I wanted to tell you myself. Uh, how serious is it, Nancy? We're very involved. I, I don't know what that means. We're lovers. Mama, please look at me. Do you love him? Very much. And he loves you? Yes. When did it happen? Oh, it's okay. No, no, please tell me. I don't know. I've always liked Pat. When we got to know each other last summer, I, I knew I was attracted to him, but, but I knew nothing was possible, so... I tried not to think about it. But we spent time together. We were friends. It happened. Just like that? We know the problems. We tried to avoid it. One of the reasons I took this Washington job was to put some distance between us. I never knew. I didn't want to worry you. You should have talked to me. Yeah. Nancy, talk to me now. Mama. No, please, I'm okay. Please talk to me. Tell me. Tell me, who is this man? You know Pat? No, I know Pat. I know, I know Maeve and I know Johnny. They're wonderful people. And I know that Pat's their son. And I know the man who took care of you last summer when you were in the hospital. But tell me about this person that you're in love with. very special man. He's kind and bright, gentle. He knows how to make me laugh. I love him. I don't know what else to tell you. Tell me what's going to happen. We try not to think about tomorrow. 
I know we don't have any future together. I know I'll have to give him up. But I just can't think about that now. It scares me, Mama. Oh, that's... I'm sure he must be a very fine person for you to love him this much. He's very lucky. I am too. Are you happy? Yes. I've been worried about how to help you understand this. And here you are, trying to console me. Maybe you're still my little girl. Yes. At least he's a doctor. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Nancy, I'm not happy about this. You're letting yourself in for a lot of heartache. Please don't worry. I do. You'll forgive me. Sure. Maybe, maybe if I knew Pat better, I, it would help me. I'd like that. Maybe, maybe tomorrow night you'll invite him over for dinner. Mama. Oh, please, Nancy, I, I want to understand. Yes, of course. Fine. <laughs> It'll be okay. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to have you home. things over. With what goal in mind? I want to help the Ryans. I'd do anything to help Maeve and Johnny. But uh, not much to help Frank? Maybe. How about me? Well, now, if I helped Frank, that would be helping you, wouldn't it? I mean, after all, I can fix it, fix it so you guys can get married in the church. Or not. All right, Delia, we're both aware of your importance. Now, suppose you tell me what's on your mind. Well, a civil ceremony would really upset Maeve and Johnny, and that bothers me a lot. You know, I think they'd get over it. See, I've been doing a lot of thinking myself, and I've come to the conclusion that I'm ready to try the other route, outside the church, if I have to. You mean you don't want an annulment? May not be all that important. I don't believe you. You see, I don't believe Frank ever would get married outside of the church. You don't? No. And after all, a senator can't have two wives. <sighs> all right, Delia. We both know there is a simple solution to my problem. You write that letter for Frank confirming his grounds for annulment. Now, if you love the Ryans so much and you want to help them so much, why don't you do it? Well, I might. That's what I said. I've been thinking things over. Let's see. Have you by any chance been uh, thinking over my offer of $50,000? No. Well, then what? The money's not enough. I need to get my hands on more. Why does this all sound like blackmail? Oh, it's not. It's for a good cause. I see. Well, how much is this uh, good cause going to cost me? I assume all your thinking has some total. It does. Well, 83000 $83,000? Now, it's not for me, mind you. It's for my friends who have a business that's in trouble, and they've come to me for help, and so I have all this money, of course. You know that. 
Yeah, you've mentioned it. Yes. But it's in my commodities, and I'm riding an upward trend now, and I don't want to take it out. So if you could just pay me that money, then I could do this good deed for my friends. And? And Frank would get his letter. Right. But the best part of it is, as I see it, Maeve and Johnny would like you a whole lot more. Delia, I am not going to bargain with you over Frank. Then you agree? Oh, yes. When can you pay? When would your uh, friends in need want it? Right away, no later than tomorrow morning. All I'll right. deliver the letter at the same time. Oh, no, 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 not to me. I don't want Frank to have any idea of my part in this. That letter goes straight to Father McShane. Okay, as soon as I have your check. You can have it right now. If you want, I can write the letter now, too. Uh-uh, you do that at home. You sure? Absolutely. Just so long as you write it tonight. Aren't you glad I called? I mean, all it took was a little patience, and now you and the Ryans can look forward to a big church wedding. And my friends can save their business. Uh, am I doing the right thing, Kevin? It keeps nagging at me. Well, what if she nags us? Given orders around here, that's what worries me. Orders? I've made this place work for years. You're right there, John. It's a well-run business. There's no need for any change. None at all. These boys and drama, oh my. Catch up with the five sexy singles who are putting a new spin on Southern charm. Don't miss an all-new Southern Bells Louisville, Thursday at 10 on SoapNet.